to another unboxing with Tom Vassell. Let's see what's inside these boring boxes. This one here looks pretty interesting. It's from Greater Than Games. Oh, Laser Riders. Phantom Cosmonaut, Galactic Wave Rider, Sudden Sheriff, and Laser Shark. Well, this is kind of interesting because this looks very similar to the IDW games. Wow. All right, so you pull these out. Looks like an old VHS cassette. Let's pop this open here on the side. And we'll look at one of them here. Huh. I'm very intrigued by this stuff. Looks neat. Not sure I like this box packaging. But, hmm, we'll check those out. Then we have Exo... Wow! Exoplanets is a good game. I've played it before from the original publisher, but this box is way better. And then this one, I'm really pumped about this one, folks, because it looks so amazing. Spirit Island. The cover itself is fantastic. Let's see what's inside the box briefly. Spirit Island. Great rule book. Ah, oh, yes. I don't know. If, oh, plastic pieces. This one looks, wait, is there stuff underneath here? More. Really excited about this game. All right. What a great box to start out with. Here's a small box from Portal. Let's take a look at what is inside here today. Fifty first State Scavengers. Oh, it's going to make Z happy. He loves this game. Okay, now we're opening up the large box of stuff we shipped back from Origins. So it's not like this is a surprise to me what's in here. So let's see what we brought back. Um, these bags we put in there to keep everything safe. I got some hats that the contributor gave me. I mean, uh, that uh, a listener gave. That's cool. Subterra, which we took to play and didn't. Um, Flip Ships. This is from Renegade Games. Looks kind of cool. Uh, the Art of Unreal Estate. Sure. The Dingo Ate the Baby, which is pretty uh, gruesome if you think about it. Magical Athlete, which I played there at the convention. Here's an insert for Scythe. That's kind of cool. Uh, some Happy Mouth. Yeah. Sleeves for um, Ultimate Werewolf. This game, which looks really cool, Summit, the board game about climbing Mount Everest. Statecraft, which I did play at the convention. Delve for Mindy Boards and Cards. Stroop, which unfortunately is not about waffles. Unreal Estate. Trickster Champions of Time. This is from Action Phase Game. Um, Jorak, a mat for One Night Ultimate Werewolf Alien. Like, I needed that, but whatever. Quest for the Antidote. I don't know much about this. Looks like a roll and move game. I hope it's better than it looks. I really hope it's better than it looks. Um, Wear Words. One Night Ultimate Alien. And Overlords of Infamy, which has some interesting artwork on it. This one looks like fun. I hope it is. All right, let's see what's in this small box here. A starter deck set for clutch baseball, along with goat busters, some booster packs. Is this a collectible card game? They did send me Big League Chew, which is a very, very good bribe, I guess. Interesting. Big League Chew. Yeah. I was never allowed to eat this when I was a kid because my parents didn't want me to chew tobacco, and I thought this would lead to that. And now for... I don't know what this one is. There's like... Not really any kind of name on the box or anything. So I have no idea what will be in here. I'm assuming it's a game, I guess. Pit Crew. All right, now this Pit Crew is not the one that's being released from Stronghold. This is a different one. This is from Cyber Rhino Studios. Looks interesting. It's from Brazil. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. 
Oh, some nice cards. Good quality. Huh, I hope this game is really good. All right, I have no idea what this one is either. That says Hulkadook or Hookadook or... Oh, it's from eight games. All right, cool. Major General, Duel of Time, and Dark as Night. Huh, I like these size boxes. They're like a nice little... These are cool boxes. I, just, I don't know, I like the size of these. That's pretty cool. Well, and the artwork on them looks good. I hope these are fun, both from eight games. Well, that is one gigantic ISBN. Maybe, huh, that's weird. All right, this is a large box from Cryptozoic. I hope this one is, what could it be? Come on, maybe it's that new. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, great. Anatomy Park, Morton, yeah, yeah. Wah, Attack on Titan, at last stand. Oh, I'm playing this one as soon as possible. Yes, very, very pumped about this one. Looks a lot of fun, 30 minute game uh, from Antoine Bowser and Ludovic Malblanc. Yes. Then the Masters of Orion game has the Seal of Excellence from Dice Tower on it because I've already played the original copy from Hobby World and really like it. And then Train Heist, whoa, nice selection of games. I'm pretty pumped about this. I didn't used to get so excited about a box from Cryptozoic, but this one has me, yeah. All right, let's see what's in here. Some games from Japan brand, it looks like. Yin Yang Dice and Sanzin Psyche. I'd kill all the crows in the world to be with you a little longer. Well, I'd kill all the crows in the world to be with you a little longer too. That's very nice of you. That's kind of a weird quote, but yay, thank you. Here's a Royal Mail box. So this one's interesting. What could I have got from England that we didn't get? Oh, okay, I've heard of this one. Gloom of Killforth. This one has been getting some buzz on the internet. Shows a few cards in the back. Is the whole game a card game? Well, let's find out. That's a beautiful cover. Nope, there's some pretty thin tiles. Cards and tokens. Well, wow. interesting artwork. I hope the game is good. I know nothing about it. Pretty sure it was a Kickstarter though. Gloom of Killforth. Well, I know what this one is because it's from Arcane Wonders and I know what they're sending me. So this one I am very excited about, like super excited. In fact, you're gonna see the review for this this week because I already know about this game. Oh, Force Master expansion for Major Wars Academy. That I don't know about, but viral! Ah, I am really pleased, folks. This is, I mean, I'm excited about all the, the Dice Tower Essentials games, but I am super excited about this one. First of all, this box is a great box. And the board just looks fantastic. Really fun viruses that the players are gonna be. And it has a really solid game. We got cards and tokens. Ah, ooh, excellent game, I promise. All right, this one here is from AEG. What do you think they have for us today? The expansion for automobiles. All right, well that's fantastic. Can't wait to uh, try that one out. New maps and stuff. I'm glad they really split this off and didn't do the expansions together like they originally were going to. And now we have the uh, our box from Rio Grande. So what do you think is in here? Let's see, Cartagena. Well, that's exciting to see the new version of that. Bonanza the Duel. Link, we already got a copy of this because we couldn't wait and ordered one online. Um, and then finally, Oktoberfest, which has a really cool looking cover. I hope this game is really good. All right, this one here says, um, is your camera out? You might want to record this. Don't forget to break free challenge. This is from Yulu. Now, I don't know exactly what this means. I really don't know anything about this game at all. This one's not an easy one to open here. They don't really, there we go. Let's try that side. All right. Let's 
Okay, I really don't think that was as exciting to open this box as I thought. Pick the lock to escape. Okay, that's cool. Why were they saying I needed my camera for this? Looks like a, hmm, kind of intrigued by this. And finally for this video, and there's been a lot this time, from Pandasaurus Games, let's take a look at what's in this one. First of all, it's just one game, but it is the giant version here, Wasteland Express. I've heard so many good things about this game. People are really talking it up. I hope it's pretty cool. Looks like there's plastic miniatures inside. In fact, let's uh, open up here on the back. Jonathan Gilmore, Matt Riddle, Ben Pinchback. A lot of good designers here. Wow. Look at those. Wow. Now, come on, IDW has stepped up their games. Remember we used to make fun of IDW for their components? I don't think you're going to be able to do that with this one. Wow. That is nice. What a good one to have saved to the end of the video. Look, at, look how much tiles there are in this game. This is going to be... Oh, I hope the game's good. Hope the game's good because the components are incredible. Well, folks, thanks for watching yet another boring unboxing video. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Thanks so much for watching The Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.